Scar Lowy the Little Engine has worked on his line for many years, and he wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Have you never wondered what's beyond the horizon? asked Rusty. More than once, laughed Scar Lowy, but this railway is home. I've worked here for nearly a hundred years, and I'd be happy to work for a hundred more. The Fat Controller overheard this, and it gave him an idea. One day, he invited some people to look at the railway. When they stopped at the first station, Peter Sam could hear them talking. Ooh, we'll take this. And when they stopped at another, he heard them again. No, we won't take that. Sir Handel looked worried. People came and did that on our old line. And then it was... Sold, said Peter Sam mournfully. He was unhappy for the rest of the day. Cheer up, Peter Sham, said the Fat Controller. I can't, sir. I don't want us to be sold. Sold? Who to? To those people. They talked about taking things. The Fat Controller laughed. Oh, ho. don't worry, Peter Sham. They're not going to buy us. They're going to check our pictures and air us on television. And he explained what that meant. Not gonna be sold! Not gonna be sold! He sang. And he raced back to the sheds to tell the others. When the other engines found out about the television, they all became very excited. All except Sir Handel. Huh, he grunted. Tell me something indeed. Fancy going around making fools of yourselves. I won't do it, I tell you. Just let the Fat Controller come here. I'll tell him something. But when the Fat Controller did arrive the next day, Sir Handel was strangely quiet. Now, I want every engine to shake part. I, um, I don't feel well, groaned Sir Handel. You poor engine, he said sympathetically. In that case, you can stay in the shed. And the workmen will take you to pieces. We must find out what's wrong, after all. And that will make a fine picture for the television. Just what we need. Sir Handel was frantic. Um, actually, sir, I think I can pull through for today. Oh, really? In that case, we'll carry on then. Sir Handel breathed a big sigh of relief as the others chuckled. Scarlowy will shake passengers. Duncan shall have a good train. And Rusty will take the workmen and show how we mend the line. Please, sir. What about me, sir? You, Peter Sham, shall pull the special television train. Oh, thank you, sir. Soon the big day came, and the television people brought large cameras to be fitted to Peter Sam's train. We're on the air! We're on the air! to an end, and all the people and engines gathered at the sheds. The Fat Controller made the announcement. We arranged for television to let everyone see our little old engine. Nearly 100 years old, I'm willing to give another 100 more. Three cheers for Scar Lowy. Thank you, sir, and to everyone for your nice surprise. Now, I'll surprise you. When I was away being mended, I found my twin. Everyone was stunned. Is there really another engine like you? asked Peter Sam. Oh yes, he was being mended too. He lives on a railway far away from here. It's a lovely line. Please visit him and wish him dry rails and smooth running from Scar Lowy, his little old twin. <laughs>